you know, very recently, okay, Star, so Star Wars just came out, right? And uh, 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 I I saw obviously Kelly Marie Tran who played who played the character of Rose and and sort of uh, diving into some of her previous work. I, I found some of her college humor videos, and just I don't know if 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 it's kosher for me to say this, but there are times where I honestly sometimes don't feel I'm going to say I, I don't feel almost. Asian enough to to be a, a voice on this podcast. Now I, I now I know that that's not entirely true, but uh, I, the reason why I say this is there was a Kelly Marie Tran sketch that was on collegehumor.com where they had I was a Kelly Marie Tran. They had a gentleman who was Hapa half and half like myself, and they had a, a a woman who was a quarter Asian who who looked pretty almost indistinguishably Caucasian. And and so, but one of the lines from from that is as the as the the, the Hapa person and as Kelly Marie Tran were, were kind of uh, giving uh, the, the, this quarter Asian person a little bit of guff. Uh, it, in a humorous way. This was not like a derogatory. It was a very funny sketch, but just uh, they, they were kind of giving her kind of side eye, being all like, wait, are, are, are you Asian enough to say that? So, you know, thinking about it this way and understanding, especially, you know, someone with an immigrant experience like like yours, Kevin, or, or, or someone who, I mean, and thinking about it also like in the context of Frank Wu with what was going on with, with him growing up in Detroit and with, uh, you know, the, 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 the direct racism that, that, that he experienced there in, in the schoolyard in, in the 70s and in the 80s. And, and then, of course, also... Just the fact, thinking about the experiences of, of, of like Japanese Americans who were full blood Japanese Americans who who were interned during World War II. Just understanding the fact that when I walk around from behind, you you would think I'm a white person, and then of course when you see my my, my face, people are always like a little bit taken aback. But at the same time, like it's just. There are times, Kevin, where I, I I feel like a little bit of a fraud <laughs> on this on this podcast, just because I I worry about my Asianness not kind of being enough, and and wondering, uh, you know, do I qualify to be on this podcast, Kevin? Really and truly. 